Hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial. Today we'll be demonstrating how to work the alternate cable cast on method. This is a great technique to use whenever your piece of knitting starts with a one by one rib. It has a really lovely stretchy result and the actual cast on will sort of mimic the patterning that your knit one purl one rib has as well. This technique is similar to the knitted and cable cast on methods. So if you've ever worked those methods before, this should be really easy. The only thing we're going to do differently is we're going to alternate between inserting our right hand needle knit wise and purl wise between the stitches on the left hand needle to create our new stitches. So we'll get straight into it. To start my cast on, I need to create one stitch on my left hand needle. And there's two ways I can do this. I can either create a slip knot, so I would take my tail end of yarn, wrap it once around my index finger, and then draw the working yarn through, pulling to tighten, and that would be a slip knot. Or I really like to avoid a knot wherever possible in my knitting. So what I do is just simply drape the yarn around the needle and twist it. So this is my tail end here. It doesn't have to be very long because all we're going to do is weave it in later. So it just needs to be long enough to do that. And I'm going to drape it over the top of my left hand needle. And then make sure that it's twisted with the working yarn like so. So that when we take our working yarn, there's something to stop it from unraveling. So to start off this technique, we're going to knit into this first stitch. So we take our right hand needle and we insert it knit wise into the front loop of that stitch. Wrap our working yarn around as if to knit and draw the loop through. But instead of slipping the stitch from the left hand needle as if it was worked, we're going to take the loop on our right hand needle and transfer it to the left hand needle, thereby creating a stitch. Now, as the name suggests, it's an alternate cast on. So if we were working the knitted cast on, we would just keep inserting our needle knit wise. But what we're now going to do is insert our needle purl wise. So now instead of inserting the needle into the stitches themselves, we're going to insert the needle between the stitches. So I'm going to take my right hand needle and purl wise, so from back to front, I'm going to insert it between those first two like so. I'm going to wrap the working yarn around the needle as if to purl. And then we're going to draw that loop between the two stitches. And then place the loop on the right hand needle onto the left hand needle to create a new stitch. So now we have three stitches. We're now going to go back to our knit version. So insert the needle knitwise between the first two stitches on the left hand needle, wrap yarn around as if to knit, draw the loop through and then place it on the left hand needle and then purl wise. So from back to front, which is a little bit trickier to do. There we go, back to front. Wrap the yarn around, draw the loop through, and then place it on our left hand needle. And we're just going to keep doing that until the required number of stitches is reached. Now, if I was working a flat piece of knitting, as these stitches are facing me, I would probably want to work these stitches here as knit stitches, and then the ones that are sort of recessed back as purl stitches which means I would be working this this odd number of stitches as a purl one knit one rib to the last stitch and then this would be a purl one if I was working this in the round it would be the opposite because when we work in the round we connect our stitches around this way so then the other side of the stitches would be facing me and it would be a knit one purl one rib so it'd be knit one purl one knit one purl one and then knit one if I want my ribbing to always continuously go around as a knit one purl one rib, that means I need to have an even number of stitches and then it would just be knit one purl one to the end of each round. And sort of the same thing if I was working flat, 
If I now want this to be a knit one purl one rib, I need to cast on one more stitch. So we'll do one more knit version. And now when I start to work these stitches, it would be knit one purl one, knit one purl one, knit one purl one. And that's all we need to do for the technique. We're now ready to get started, whether we're working flat or in the round. And we'll see that this has a really nice finish that mimics our ribbing pattern. So that's the alternate cable caster method. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, do leave them below.